I'm Stacey Galandi, and this is Ask the Doctor, a Life Script Cedar sinai Women's Health Report. Women with breast cancer often face losing one or both breasts, and that can be terrifying. The good news is that breast reconstruction has come a long way, and there are more options to choose from. But which one is right for you? LifeScript's Mari Cartel has more. After surviving breast cancer and a double mastectomy, Colleen Dallet wanted reconstructive surgery. I'm only in my 50s and I'm gonna live for another 20, 30 years and I did want to have my breasts back, at least on the outside where people wouldn't have to be feeling uncomfortable being around me. Like most women, she chose implants because they're more durable, but there were other options that she briefly considered, including one that uses your own belly fat to create a more natural look. I actually thought of having the one where they would take some out of my stomach because I thought it was a win-win situation to have a little tummy tuck at the same time. But I also know it's a lot longer in reconstruction time that it would take longer for the surgery and it would take longer for the recuperation. The procedures can be painful and are not without risks. But according to Dr. Katherine Dang, Cedar sinai Saul and Joyce Brandman Breast Center, it helps women feel better about themselves after a life-changing surgery. Especially for younger women who may or may not be in a relationship, they, they are still dating, they're, you know, self-esteem is incredibly important for everybody. But I think that, you know, they feel much happier if they've had made that choice to have the mastectomy or they have to have a mastectomy, that they have some kind of immediate reconstruction so they don't look down and their, their chest wall is completely flat. And I think it's made a huge difference in terms of um, uh, acceptance of, 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 you know, dealing with the cards that you're, you're dealt. Um, and I think that women recover faster because they feel better about themselves. As Colleen's tissue expanders slowly make room for the implants, she's now mulling another choice, what shape she wants her breasts to be. I just saw a couple of different new options for me, so I'm looking forward to seeing what type I will have. Colleen's close to the finish line and already looking toward the future. Well, I'm a very positive person. I always have been. I've always had a smile on my face, and I always do see the glasses being very, very full. Um, this did throw me for a loop, because the only time I'd ever been in the hospital was overnight for the birth of my two children. So this was something very new to me. Um, but on the other hand, I think my positive attitude is what's helped me be healthier a lot faster than some folks. Life is good. I know that you've heard that expression, and it is something that I use on a regular basis. From Cedar sinai Saul and Joyce Brandman Breast Center in Los Angeles, I'm Mari Cartel. Thank you, Mari. Now, Dr. Katherine Dang of Cedar sinai Saul and Joyce Brandman Breast Center is here to explain the reconstruction techniques. Thank you for being here, Dr. Dang. Thank you very much for having me. Well, the good news is there are lots of choices for women. Uh, I wonder if you could explain what are the different types of reconstruction surgeries that are available for women today? Okay, well, first of all, you can break it down to two types of reconstruction. One is an implant-based reconstruction, and the second is using your own tissue. There actually is a third type where you use a combination of the two, an implant and your own tissue, and that's called a latissimus dorsi. Um, with the using your own tissue, we can get tissue from many parts of the body. The most common is using your tummy, which women really love because you know you get a tummy tuck in the process. Um, and the other areas would be your, from your back muscles as well, um, from your gluteal or your butt is another area, it's less common, um, and from your thigh as well, problem areas. When talking about implants, there's saline and then there's silicone. What are the difference? What's the advantage of one over the other? The silicone implants feel more natural, they look more natural, they can make teardrop shaped ones now, so it has more of a natural breast appearance as opposed to a saline one, which is more of a uh, uniform shape. The advantage of the saline ones, you can control the volume a little bit more. The silicone ones come in preset volumes. Um, and then with the silicone ones, if they rupture, silicone can leak. Um, although the newer implants are much stronger and less likely to leak than the old implants that were removed from the market. Um, the, sil the saline ones, uh, if they rupture, they just deflate. Of your patients, the women that you see, are you finding that they are opting more to having using their own tissue or using the implants? 
in, you know, we practice in Los Angeles and the majority of women here tend to use implants. Much more acceptable to them, uh, probably also because women are thinner on average here than in other parts of the country. So in other parts of the country, is it not something that's a, as readily available? Um, it, it may be that more women are desiring to have that tummy tuck, so they're w more willing to use their abdominal muscles, and they're, you know, maybe heavier in other parts of the country. When you go the tissue route, when they wake up in sur after surgery, what are the differences in the types of, of tissue? So when you use your own tissue and you wake up from surgery, you have a breast mound. Your breast is basically the same size, sometimes a little larger than where you started. If you use an implant, usually they use something called a tissue expander, which is like an implant, but it's not fully inflated at the time of surgery. So you wake up with a smaller looking breast than, or sometimes even a very flat chest. And that's changed over time by adding salt water or saline into it. Who are the best candidates for the different types of reconstruction surgeries? So in terms of using your own tissue, especially your abdomen, your abdominal fat, um, it's women who are more pear-shaped, who are, have a little bit of excess fat there. Um, it's, it's not as good for women who have more of an apple shape because that means you, most of your fat is on the inside of your abdomen. This is a very emotional um, surgery for a woman when she to have to lose a breast or both breasts. How do you deal with the emotional aspects of reconstruction surgery? Well, I think it's difficult for any woman. Um, I think the people who cope with this the best are people who have the best support groups. People who you know, rally their family and friends, they talk to other women who've already been through the situation, and then educating women as to what is the best option for them and making sure that their expectations are in line with what's possible for them. You obviously meet with many, many patients. Um, when a woman is faced with this, having to make this kind of decision, how do you help that patient make the right decision for themselves? Well, we try to educate them as to what kind options are best for them in terms of what fits with their frame and also what works with treating their cancer. Um, and then making sure we have patient education materials is available as well. I also advise women, if you're not sure about the plastic, the reconstruction, maybe getting another opinion from another reconstructive plastic surgeon because they may be able to give you some pointers that you're not picking up. I imagine it's got to be very rewarding because you're really helping someone get past a very difficult time and it's almost like getting them on to a new life. Unfortunately, we're dealing with tough situations, but the great thing is that most people do really well and they go on to lead very meaningful lives and we're, we're just part of the process. We're happy to be here. Dr. Dang, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's great to see that there's so many options for women out there. I agree. For more information about breast reconstruction, visit our Breast Cancer Health Center at lifescript.com or Cedar sinai at cedars-sinai.edu. This has been a LifeScript Cedar sinai Women's Health Report. I'm Stacey Galandi.